do you get a lot of opinionated people coming to you to try and just throw whatever they think of you guys on yeah that is like barstool is such a double-edged sword because there's a lot of opinions about it already before people really know what it is like people think it's this frat centric super bro-y like terrible company and to a sense like yeah there's the there's the frat part of it it's like a college company there's a lot of men in it but there's so much more depth to it so I get so frustrated when people are like you work at Barstool Sports like you're a misogynist I don't like you I'm like dude our CEO is a woman like two of the top podcasts in the whole entire company are ran by women like there's so much more to it and it makes it just makes me so sad when people don't give it a chance I'm like just give it a chance things change and things grow because I do not agree with some of the shit that used to happen at Barstool and like what it was but it's grown it's evolved it's been 20 years now 20 years that's a long time that's a really long time yeah were you aware of it when you were a kid I I was aware I always thought it was just Barstool the Instagram page like posting crazy videos I didn't know that there were so many like avenues in it and so many different podcasts and shows I kind of just thought it was like pizza guy Dave and let's post like crazy videos on Instagram but didn't they start out as like a magazine yeah a newspaper right it started out as like a news Dave making a newspaper and like forcing it upon people in the streets and did you see that when you were a kid like was it on newsstands I don't I never saw it but like all of my family like my dad and my uncles they like grew up with Barstool like they evolved with Dave so I kind of got the rundown before I went in for my internship I like made them sit me down and give me the history of Barstool so I didn't look like an idiot would you tell them when what was their reaction when you told them that you were going to interview at Barstool oh my god my he, uncle, here's little Bree making videos on, on musically. well my parents okay my parents are kind of older my mom is like she had me when she was 37 so she's like fucking she's older now yeah. so she doesn't really know the internet she does now because she's obsessed with tiktok because i'm on it she sends me tiktoks every day of don't forget about your mom your mom loves you tiktoks i I'm love like, the fuck. way you filmed this one baby. yeah <laughs> give us a shout out <laughs> shout out mom <laughs> but um my mom was like what are you bar she thought it was a furniture company but my dad was like Prez, like go Prez, they poured on my uncle like shit his pants they were so excited for me and they were like you can't fuck this up like you have to do this you have to do well or you're gonna be a disappointment do it for the chicken fry family i'm like okay <laughs> guys i got to i guess but it was so fun we just had the bars to like 20th year anniversary in boston the other day and i got to bring all my family to it and they got to like meet dave and it was like a dream come true for them so it's sweet to like get to give back to them since they loved it before I even knew what it was. Yeah. yeah. Is he like a superhero in Boston? Oh my God. He's God. Like literally the God of Boston. It's crazy. At least for like all the stoolies and there's a lot of them. It's wild to watch. Like people are in awe when he walks by. I feel like they're in awe at you too, right? I don't think so, but maybe some of the girls. 